Today's video is sponsored by Rei Boots. Now, Rei Boot can help you troubleshoot and fix over 150 iOS, iPad OS, and even TV OS issues. Things like stuck on an Apple logo, a constant boot loop, recovery mode, and so much more with just a few simple clicks. Now, Rei Boot can also help you upgrade to iOS 17 or even downgrade from iOS 17 back to iOS 16 without losing any of your data. So make sure you check out Rei Boot for any of your beta issues. Of course, links will be in the description and down below. Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at some iOS 17 hidden features and I want to start off with FaceTime effects. Now this feature is invisible unless you look for it after you initiate a FaceTime call. So if I go into control center here, you see nothing of course. So when you launch the FaceTime application, if you bring down control center, then you'll see the new effects options available right here. Now what you're looking at is of course my camera here. We have three different options. We have studio lighting, of course this allows you to adjust the the lighting in your video and you can go ahead and adjust the intensity as well by clicking here you can see right there which is really cool then you also have portrait mode effect now this of course gives you that blur effect in the background and you can adjust the intensity live within a FaceTime call as well which is really neat and then you have a new option called reactions here so this allows you to do thumbs up and thumbs down maybe a heart shape celebration and things like that so basically reactions just like an iMessage but live reaction effects that show up in your video FaceTime call which is super cool now these effects will also be available in third-party video calling services once developers update their applications now, I don't know about you, but I always lose the Apple TV remote. And with iOS 17 and tvOS 17, you need both softwares to be installed. You'll now be able to find your Siri remote using the Find My application. So if it goes under the couch or you leave it in the counter, you just don't remember, you'll now be able to locate your Siri remote using the Find My application. And you'll be able to finally find out where that remote went after you went to get a drink. Yeah, so yeah, something that definitely needed to be added. Okay, so this one is sort of funny but it was much needed so take a look at this set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes set a timer for 30 minutes set a timer for one hour so as you get it, you can now set multiple timers finally in iOS 17, something that most users wanted, a lot of users wanted. And yeah, something so simple, Apple took this long to add, but it is finally here. Multiple timers are now a thing in iOS 17. Now, next I wanna talk about shared passwords and pass keys. Apple now allows you to add a person of trust right here. As you can see, you can choose what you want to share, whether it's a password or a pass key. And of course, you'll be in control because you can go into settings now and once you go into settings you want to find the password section right here and under password sharing you'll now get a new option to share any pass keys or passwords with friends or trusted family members as you can see right there you can go ahead and set this up apple never mentioned this but this is actually a big feature coming to passwords and pass keys the ability to share it within your family circle apple never mentioned anything in regards to the weather application but there's also some updates here to the air quality category section here you now have some news and information of course alongside the air quality if you scroll down we have a cleaner look a lot more options available here when it comes to you know you have a compass you also have the wind and the temperature the average temperature is now available here as well and a forecast you also have your uv index you have you feel like temperatures your visibility which is important of course if you're going to be traveling and one of my favorite parts is moon faces basically if you will you have illumination moon rise moon set full moon moon and geographical distance from the moon as well and you can sort of just scroll through here and see what the moon's going to look like throughout the day or the days of the month as you can see right here it is really cool actually very well detailed i like this a lot and you have the calendar down here in case you're following the phases of the moon i think apple has done a fantastic job with the weather application and continues to do so in ios 17. now another great much needed feature is the ability to ping your apple watch so basically find your apple watch if you lose it around the house or whatever it may be if you're at a hotel or traveling you can go into settings now actually and you go into control center and there's a new option right there ping apple watch this allows you to play a sound on your apple watch through control center in order to find it so there it is the new option i can click it and it will make a sound or ping a sound onto the apple watch in order for me to find it now i have my apple watch muted but it is right here next to me there it is right there it is now making that sound i can go ahead and pin it just like so in ios 17 yeah you can now ping your apple watch in case you ever lose it and 
And last but not least, I would like to talk about one specific widget that I used to not use, but now will be using all the time, and that is the contact widget, because you now have the ability to add interaction and extensions to the contact widget, among others, but this one called my attention the most. So if I go into edit widget after long pressing here, I can remove these shortcuts from the widget itself, as you can see. But if I long press, click edit, and show buttons, it gives me the option to message and call a specific contact using this widget card right here on the home screen which I'll be using a whole lot and I thought that was worth a mention Apple didn't mention this and it's sort of hitting within the widget itself so there you guys have it these are some of the hidden features within iOS 17 that I thought were worth a mention thank you for watching guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one peace